Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, Snapshot 24W48A is here, and it brings the Pale Gardens biome, as well as all the blocks and the Creaking mob. Now, before we jump to the features, I do want to quickly just mention, this is under Experimental Toggles, so you need to turn on the Experimental Toggle for Winter Drop to get these features. If you don't enable that toggle, none of these features will appear within your world. And you cannot enable this toggle for all the existing worlds, so you do need to make a brand new one. Now, as you can see right here, the biome is called the Pale Gardens. You can locate it using the command, or you can just find it when naturally exploring. And it comes with the wood set. You have the log, you have the strip, you have planks, you have doors, trap doors, you have the moss, you have the sapling, leaves, and also hanging moss. And it looks pretty amazing. So now let's cover what some of it does. First of all, let's cover the sapling, because this is what is used to grow the trees it will be dropped from the leaves so just breaking the leaves inside a survival mode will get you the sapling and the tree is grown two by two so the same as a dark oak if i bone meal this you can see we got ourselves a tree if i was just place one singular sapling on its own you can see nothing grows now the biome is a version of the dark oak forest so you will most commonly find it near dark oak or where dark oak was and the creaking is also in the game so let's cover that as well before we jump to the blocks and how they all look so for the creaking to spawn we need to set the game to night and you can now see that the creaking heart awakens okay yes there we go there is the creaking and I'm guessing the heart is in this tree somewhere, possibly. It's not in that one, so I'm guessing it's in this one. I guess let's punch it, and we'll see exactly where it is. So yes, it's behind this block right here. And I always thought they have to be up the top. That doesn't seem like it's true. Although it does seem like they have to be completely surrounded by solid blocks. And you can see that this creaking stage is active. If I was to place this down, you can see the creaking stage is disabled. Now if I punch this creaking, you can see it doesn't die. It just sends particles to this block. Now if I break this block, you can see the creaking does die. It does also grant Monster Hunter, which is interesting. And I did not notice that guy behind me. So I've just got a debug stick because I want to see the different stages. So you've got dormant, uh, you have active, and you also have disabled. Okay, so that's the three stages the block can be. Now, okay, this one is telling me that the creaking heart is over here. So if I break this one, once again, the creaking does vanish. Now, a few other things about the creaking is it will not be affected by light level. So it can spawn in pitch black or it can spawn in max light level. The only thing that it is affected by is the day and night cycle. So you can see this creaking right here. If I was to set the time to day, the creaking will vanish just because it doesn't like the daytime. Now, another thing to note about the biome, no passive mobs will be able to spawn here. So you won't find things like cows or sheep. Now, there are also some new ambient sounds which are played and they are not played by the biome. They are played by certain actions. If pale hanging moss is placed on top of leaves or the log, then it will play a ambient sound. And also the creaking heart will play some ambient sounds when it is surrounded by pale logs on all six sides, as well as it has to be activated. Now, I did not know that, but the log can be placed diagonally as well. That's really cool. That's really cool. The block has direction and you can also power it. It seems like it doesn't update or unpower though when you remove the logs. So if I remove this log, it doesn't like unpower the block. But it seems like for it to be powered, it only needs a block above and below. For it to let off the ambient sounds, it needs to have blocks on all six sides. And they need to be the log block. Now let's quickly just try and find ourselves a creaking so we can encounter it inside of survival mode. Now I don't know if there's any more. If I just place like one of these down. So if I place one right there and then cover it. Is that going to spawn a creaking? It said that creaking heart awakened. I guess it's now just the fact of trying to find it. Now, while we're trying to look for this, another thing about the vines is they will not grow naturally. So the vines you see placed in the biome will be how they stay. You can bone mill them, though, to get more of them. So now I hear a creaking. I don't see it, though. Okay, here it is right here. So if I go inside a survival mode, the creaking is not moving. If I look away from it, it should then start moving towards me. And yes, there you go. You can see it is now running towards me. If I look at it again, it will stop. Now, it's going over there for the creaking heart. A few things I want to try. 
Do potions kill it, or is it completely immune to all damage types? So if I throw a potion, it seems like all damage types just activate this like trigger of the particles. As if I throw some potions at it, it doesn't do nothing. If I maybe place it in lava, does that do anything? Uh, let's quickly just wait. Okay, lava just pushes it, so it's immune to fire damage, which is good. And it also doesn't set on fire. That's kind of interesting. But it seems like the heart for this one is the one that we placed, which I can now break to make the creaking disappear. So let's now have a look at some of these blocks' textures. So let's just quickly grab them all. And there we go. So this is the log and then obviously the wood, which is the log texture on all six sides. We then have the strip version. It does have a slight pink tint to it. I want to see the difference between this and cherry wood because cherry obviously does have quite a white tint. So if I place down the planks, okay, yeah, you can definitely see the pink tint, but it is a lot lighter. I guess that's kind of cool. We then obviously have the stairs, the slab, the fence, and the gate. We then also do have the door, which that looks awesome. We have the trap door, which I like the look of as well. We have the pressure plate, we have the button, and then we have the moss, the moss carpet. We also have the leaves and the sapling, which I showcased earlier. And then we have the pale hanging moss. I'll cover the mossy blocks a bit later on. Let's quickly just showcase the final few things in the pale oak wood set. And obviously we have the sign, which looks just like the planks. Now that looks very different than the planks, does it not? Yeah, it, I think it does. Although it could just be lighting. Maybe it's the same. We then do also have the hanging sign, which if I quickly just place this down. And that looks, yeah, that looks a lot darker than the stripped as well. I don't know if that's intended or not, as I'm pretty sure the other hanging signs are just a strip block pasted on. We then also have the boat and the boat with a chest. Now, all of these blocks work exactly like every other wood set. So the oak, the spruce, the dark oak. The doors can be opened with your fist. The trap door can be opened with your fist. And I think that's the only things to mention about it. The recipes should also be the same as other wood sets. Now, let's quickly cover the moss blocks as these have some unique functions with them. First of all, the moss, can this be bone milled like normal moss? Let's quickly just see. And it can. Once again, creating carpets and also some grass and tall grass. The leaves will drop themselves when silk touched, and they will also drop the sapling. Now, the moss carpet is the thing that we want to talk about, because this is different than normal moss carpets. When you place it down, you can see that it climbs up the wall. Let's quickly just grab a better block for this. So you can see if there is a block, it can climb up that block and it can do this on all sides. So you can see it's done it on all four. It will not climb up a ceiling block. So you can see there's nothing on the ceiling, but you can bone mill this to make it climb up more and it can go up to a max of two. If I was to place a third block, it will not be able to climb another block. Now, also, if you look at the block sites, it seems like it's done off low and tall. So the west is none because there's no block there. And then the north is tall because there's two. But it seems like there's no way to remove the moss if there is a block there. And it seems like it does need to be a solid block. If I place a leaf there, that does also work. What if I place like a trap door there? If the trap door is flipped up, then it does appear. So it seems like maybe it just checks for a solid face. What about things like slabs? I'm guessing they probably won't work. It doesn't. And the final thing I want to test is glass. Will the moss climb up glass? And it does. And you can see it from the other side, which is cool. Now the creaking and the creaking heart does also have items. So the creaking heart, you can see you can place down. You can also pick this up with silk touch, which it seems like not every tree has a creaking heart. That's also something I'm going to mention. Like, as you can see, I'm breaking this tree and there is no creaking heart within this one. So it's not 100% chance for trees to have them. So we are now at a plains biome as I want to test this. So let's quickly just place the tree here and bone meal it. And yeah, you can see moss is randomly placed as well as moss carpets. That's really cool. So basically, if you obtain yourself four saplings, you can renew every single block inside of the pale gardens biome. The vines, the leaves, the logs, the moss blocks, the carpets. The only thing I'm not sure about is the creaking heart. Now, also, the creaking that is spawned by a spawn egg will not have a creaking heart block. 
and you can kill this. It also persists of day and night, so when you set it to day, it won't despawn, neither will it despawn when you set it to night time. They only have half a heart, so any damage source will kill them. And also, there is no way to get the creaking heart version of the creaking without using the block, and it cannot be summoned with commands either. Now, there is also something to note, which if we quickly just surround this to get ourselves a creaking, so the creaking awakens. Whereabouts is it though? It's down here. So inside of survival mode, when you look at these guys, they will not move. Well, you can equip yourself with a carved pumpkin to make it so they can still move. So if I quickly just remove this and look at the creaking, you can see it's not moving. If I was to equip this, you can see it is moving and it will attack me. I guess one other way I could test this if we don't get it from this time is just by placing a feature because if there's two different tree types so if i just quickly test slash place and then feature and then pale oak uh there is pale oak and pale oak creaking so there is two different types of the tree it's not random chance if the creaking is placed within the tree it looks like it's two different tree types if i place this one down this one doesn't have any creaking heart and if i place down the pale oak creaking this one does have a 100% spawn chance of the creaking, I'm guessing. Which, if we quickly just have a look, maybe not, unless it's further up in the tree. No, okay. So placing this tree is weird because it don't connect to the ground. Underneath it is vines or carpets. And also when you place the tree, there's no creaking heart. So I don't know if it maybe checks for certain requirements. Like maybe it has to be within a creaking biome. Or if there's some other requirement, like it has to be on pale moss. One other final thing I want to mention before we end, and I want to keep this video fairly short so you guys can jump in and mess around and see what's new, is there is new an accessibility option, which if I quickly just check, you can see enhance the block outline of contrast of targeted blocks. And it seems like there's different settings for this. So you have on and you have off. And when it's on, you can see that the block outline goes a very vibrant blue. So this just means that you can see block outlines are way better. And if I go in survival mode, it doesn't change the breaking animation. It's just the outline. But anyway, that is it for this snapshot video. It's a very cool one. And I can't wait to see what else Minecraft has in store for this update. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.